what's going on collective uh welcome back to my channel it's your boy adam raw uh like comment share subscribe um yeah so um tomorrow is the full moon uh solar lunar eclipse right so definitely get everything together that you guys need to get it together and um be prepared to you know do your thing or whatever you do right okay so uh today um i pretty much ah uh, man it was a few things today but it wasn't worth mentioning today so uh what i'm gonna do today is i'm just gonna pull cards and see what comes up actually um between this video and the next video i was gonna uh try to see it was i came across this uh missing girl poster or whatever right this mixing woman poster or whatever and um i wanted to go into deeper detail about you know what was going on with her and you know how things turned out or whatever it may be um i don't have all my um cards and stuff well i put it like this i don't have everything that i went that i want to have in terms of uh trying to figure out what was going on with that so what i'm gonna do is um I think I'm gonna pull my, uh, you know, just pull my cards or whatever, and uh, you know, call our ancestors in and see what is going on now. All right. Um, I think that's all that I have here. I think that's all I got. So uh, yeah. Hang on. I bought these cards to make my own personal um, tarot cards. And, um, I don't know, man. Shuffling them is not all that good. I need to get me some, I need to get the, uh, the other ones. You know what I mean? But I guess I'm going to keep these because, um, I don't feel like rewriting all this shit. You know, and I still haven't finished them. It's still shit on there. It's a lot of stuff that I need to um, finish on these cards. It's not even, it's nowhere near, well, right now, it's not, it's nowhere near done. You know, I might have to make a second deck or something like that. That's what I might have to do. All right, let's see what's going on out here. Let's see. I'm done griping. So the overall energy here has to do with the eight of coins out here, eight of pentacles out here. Um, yeah, so essentially this has to do with your work ethics, has to do with, uh, your working, uh, you could be working on a new project. You should, you could be taking your time creating something. You could be creating content. You could be working hard at something or trying to perfect or master something at this time. Uh, this gives the energy of Virgo. I got a Virgo energy out here. Either you or Virgo is out here trying to perfect something. Um, you got a skill, talent, you got, um, what is that? Skill, talent passion things that it's something that you're passionate about right and you could be working hard trying to perfect that you know we got the number 50 out here which has to do with the mountain the mount was that the mountain no that's the cauldron so with number 50 with the cauldron it generally has to do with um what is within you generally uh is basically the uh, nutrition that you provide for others around you so if there's a uh, dark or negative or um, like basically this has to do with your character, right? If you are consistently like say with this eight of pentacles here, you know, you're working really hard and stuff like that. That right there is going to produce a really good fruit for you to enjoy later. Same thing when it comes to, you know, other things in life when you are really good at certain things or you're passionate about, you know, the things that you are passionate about like you know you could be practicing those things or whatever and the more you practice it the more and it doesn't have to be just a talent or a skill it could be like you could be trying to perfect healing yourself you could be trying to protect uh perfect um or practice you know what i'm saying healing techniques reiki you could be it's a variety of different things out here right but as you continue to perfect those things or whatever, and you're passionate about it, 
that right there alone is starting to be very nutritionist, not just to you, but there's other people around you that is also benefiting from this energy of you uh, perfecting yourself. This ties into the energy of why when we have the self path and the selfless path, this right here in itself is why, because when you focus on yourself, and you are committed to changing your, you know, working hard to reach your highest potential. Um, and although, you know, a lot of people see it as selfish or whatever, but you might get help from other people to do this or whatever it may be. That selfishness or that selfish path where you're only focused on you, that and you're was like you focusing on you and bettering yourself, that nourishes the people around you. Okay. Now, it works the same way if you're on the selfless path where you're helping other people and that you helping other people is sustenant to their growth. So when you do that, you're also helping yourself and others. You know what I mean? So, yeah, basically the energy here is pretty much has to do with the self path and the selfless path. Um, a lot of people think that when you focus on yourself, that you're selfish or when you are focused on your own growth or isolating yourself from others, that you're selfless, right? I mean, you're selfish, right? But the thing is, is that so being selfish is not wrong, okay? That's the thing, like in the Bible, it never said that being selfish was a sin, it was wrong or anything like that. No, it's never been anything like that, right? The selfish path is more, it's all about how it's administered, just like how spiritual spirituality in itself is used, okay? Because if you use spirituality in a positive light, you can use it to grow. But if you use it in a negative path, you can, you know, use it to destroy, you know what I'm saying? Same thing, okay? The selfless, the selfish path is, you know, it's all about, you know, you basically, and you know, you could take resources from other people and use those resources to try to build yourself up or tailor your life to what it should be for yourself. Now, when you do the selfless path, it's you providing a resource. And when you provide them resource, you get the resources you need through karma. You see what I'm saying? So it's 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 a it's a balance of good and you know self and selfless path. So you got the eight of wands out here. De uh, Sagittarius energy out here. The Eight of Wands has to do with communication out here. They're like somebody's trying to bond with you. Somebody's trying to connect with you. Somebody's trying to create a connection with you some kind of way, shape, or form. Um, this has to do with Sagittarius energy. This could be two Sagittarius involved, two Virgos involved, or Sagittarius and a Virgo involved. But the vibe that I'm getting here basically is that um, somebody is tr going to try to uh, reach out to you. You know, while you're focusing on yourself and you're pursuing your passion or whatever. Um, somebody's going to try to reach out to you to try to bond with you some kind of way, shape, or form. Is the vibe that I'm getting here. Yeah. Somebody is going to um, try to bond with you. Just give me the vibe of uh, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday energy. Uh, Wednesday has to do with communication. Friday has to do with love. Thursday has to do with uh, luck. So this could happen. Um, this person could try to reach out to you. And yeah, I did mod modify my cards a bit, but this person could uh, reach out to you maybe Wednesday. Um, I'm, I'm just going to leave it open and say Wednesday. But the vibe that I'm getting here is definitely going to be... Um, between the hours of let's say um, midnight to two in the at two in the morning, um, seven in the morning to nine in the morning, uh, this person could reach out around. Uh, let me see, seven, two to four p.m. and then from nine to eleven p.m. Okay, so those are those are four two hour slot zones there. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what uh what planet will be in a rising position during those times. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm gonna have to draft me up a chart and try to see if I can follow a pattern or something to see if uh you know there's a pattern or something before it all repeat. 
you know what I mean? And then I'll be able to express more about that. But this energy of you, um, you working on your passion, I'm sorry, that's a mistake. What I wanted to say was that you could be working on your passion or you could be getting ideas and downloads about something that you're passionate about during those times that I mentioned, okay? Now, when it comes to this person communicating with you, this person could communicate you could communicate with you at the early times in the morning, which generally is like midnight to 1 a.m., okay? Also between, I mean, you know, it could be... Um, let's say 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., 8 a.m., uh, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., or even um, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m., right? So, I mean, you can write that time down and see what, what happens, but uh, like I said, this is new energy that I attached to my card, so um, I'll be able, you know, I'm just, I'm just practicing with them right now, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is all for... Um, uh, entertainment purposes only, right? So with this Eight of Wands communication energy, this is somebody who's coming in who's going to try to bond with you. Somebody's going to try to, um, yeah, definitely connect. With these eights out here, this could be this could also be the energy of like abundance here. So somebody probably want to partner up with you in some way, shape, or form. They see the, they see your worth ethic. They see how passionate you are about the things that you do. And they may want to um, work with you. You got the high priestess in reverse here. Yeah, this is something you probably aren't going to see coming. This is something you can't plan for. You're not. It's, it's going to escape your senses because you're going to be encompassed, encompassed in your... You're going to be in your zone. You're going to be uh, creating right while you're creating somebody is gonna just kind of like want to talk to you want to communicate with you want to make a bond with you want to work with you want to make money with you or whatever it may be uh this could be a business partner this could be um a love offering essentially um we'll see how the rest of the um you know what's the name go but this moon car energy here has to do with a uh, monday okay like a monday energy right but uh i don't know it's not in the upright so i'm not too concerned about that right next this is the new path that's available to you this is the ace of coins in reverse uh something that you do you know if you are too passionate you, you know a lot of times we are exceptionally passionate about what we do that we miss things or we miss opportunities because we are focused on one thing so don't get overly focused on some on what's in front of you in terms of like your passion that you overlook this person or you overlook an opportunity that could be coming your way with the number 43 in reverse this has to do with a breakthrough energy but in reverse generally this has to be with um it's still a breakthrough but it's more of the darker side of breaking through this is kind of like everything running amok or opportunity come and you're unprepared for it okay one thing that this woman told me that i'll never forget and i learned a lot from women okay that's why i love and i you know i love i respect and i appreciate someone most women right if you you know do otherwise because it is you know and that's not just with women but there's you know it's with people in general okay but i did want to give certain women their kudos because everything that i learned of sustenance came from a woman okay everything all of this information that you see here all of this came from a woman a woman has taught me each and every bit of this information that is on these cards. I learned tarot from a woman. I learned about the I Ching from a woman, wanting to better myself with, as you know, for a woman, basically. I learned about um, combining all these different informations and uh, custom cards and things of that nature from a woman. I learned about, you know, astrology from a woman. Everything that I've learned from it was from a woman, okay? And I'm not ashamed or afraid to admit that. And I know there's a lot of things that I still don't know that I will learn in the future, right? However, there are certain ones that I just, that 
you know, especially with this eights of coins in reverse here. The reason why I brought all of that up was because of this. When you are passionate about something, you're focusing on something, whether it's male or female that try to come in, you have to know the energy that comes in. Just like I was talking about how passionate I was about learning things from a woman, there are certain things that you cannot learn from a woman. There are certain things that you don't respect. I mean, that can't be respected about certain women. You see what I'm saying? With that being said, whoever this person is, they're going to come to you in a form that you least suspect. They're going to come in a form of somebody that you probably generalize with, uh, somebody that you have a bias against, somebody that you might don't ordinarily affiliate or associate with, right? And they could be coming in to offer you an opportunity, or there could be an opportunity here, and you can miss this opportunity, whatever this is, because you're going to be focused on, you know, your passion if it's if that's good or bad that's on you i can't all opportunities aren't good opportunities there's opportunities just like there's a good opportunity there's also bad opportunities too okay so evaluate it accordingly and uh you know approach it with an open mind be very selective about who you let in when you're being creative okay because your creative energy is it's a contagion right it's contagious all energy is contagious. All energy, all entities are contagious. In a spiritual realm, energy is like a virus. It's like a bacteria or a virus or a parasite. The things that it interact with is what it, you know what I'm saying? The things that interact with is what it, you know, becomes. Energy is indiscriminate. Energy is water and you're the cup. It, uh, water flow. Well, I can't say water flows to a cup, but what is full of itself flows to what is empty. When you are receptive to certain energies, they're going to flow to you. You see what I'm saying? So be careful about what you're receptive to because it's going to naturally flow to you. If you are, you know, what your passion or whatever, you know what I mean? Then, you know. So let's see what balances this whole situation out. You have the strength card here, okay? So yes, with the strength card, this is gonna be you about um, you expressing or exerting your uh, creativity on your strength. Your strength, your ability, what, who you and what you are is gonna be demonstrated through your ability and through your passion, okay? Success, abundance, wealth is all like an artwork okay it's to some it's incomplete to others it's complete everyone has a meaning that they attach to wealth abundance right it's because of our perception my perception of abundance may be wisdom your perception of abundance will be a lot of money everyone has a perception about wisdom i mean about abundance or wealth or not just that health friendship everybody has a perception their own perception or definition about something right that is what we govern our lives by the definitions that we create in our mind when we create a definition that right there is what shapes and molds our world so i'm saying all of that because of this you're going to create something it's going to be amazing, right? It's going to be something worth recognition. Whether people say it is or not, because everybody's going to have their opinion, it's worth recognizing. It's up to you to have the strength necessary to stand on what you create. You got the number eight up here. If you notice, eight came out here multiple times. You got eight. One eight of coins, well, eight of pentacles here, the number eight here, that number eight of wands, the eight here, the eight here, you know, the eight here, you know, that's a lot of abundant energy here, right? It's a lot of abundant energy here. All of this 
whatever you're creating, it could save somebody's life. The vibe is what I'm getting here. This gives me the energy of, remember I told you what you do, strength is about what you do and what you choose not to do. At this time, this strength is gonna be derived in what you do and what you actively put your energy into. This is gonna be about your active energy, your warrior instincts, the, uh, the energy you affiliate yourself with, you imprinting your energy into the world. You and your fire, okay? I like this because I like artists. I like creative people. I like creativity. That's the energy that I'm getting here, the energy of creativity. It's creativity. That's what's gonna balance everything out. So if you miss this opportunity or not, don't worry about it. You gotta have to have strength to stand on what you create and continue to create. Regardless if this is a good opportunity that you miss or not, don't worry. Whether you're, whether you're, um, ready for it or not which is why i also brought up the situation the thing about you know learning everything from a woman because it was a woman that taught me one of the most important lessons about life that i have ever experienced and she learned that from her dad she told me she said if you get ready you don't have to be ready i mean if you be ready you don't have to get ready right so the vibe that i'm getting here is pretty much that an opportunity could come and you might miss it. There's a chance you might miss an opportunity here. Okay. Like I said, you have to evaluate it for what it is when it comes. Don't worry about it. That's not what this time is about. This timeline isn't about an opportunity that comes in. It's not about that. It's about you doing what you love. When you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. Whatever you're passionate about, commit to it. Do that every single day. Work on it every single day. And let that be what you do. You know? A lot of people, they're so, this is, we live in a world where there's so many people that is just so miserable. It seems like everybody have to, it's, it's like everybody is programmed or they do things they hate to do. And they think that it's normal to do shit that you don't want to do because of, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? In some circumstances, I get that. But everything in life don't have to be that way. If you're miserable eating soup every day, doesn't mean you have to eat soup. You can have noodles. You can have bread. You can have water. You see what I'm saying? You won't know what options are available to you until you branch out. You see what I'm saying? So have that warrior spirit and stand on what you uh, create. Be bold about it. I see the energy of an olive out here, citrus energy here. That olive has to do with bringing you peace. Peace in your heart, peace in your spirit. The citrus energy, I see Apollo out here. I see Ajax out here. Ajax was a very strong warrior here. I see Achilles out here. Yeah, this has to do with the energy of Sunday, the rising sun, right? Creativity, positive masculine energy, the father energy. This is you ushering in and taking control over um, the, th like, mm, I want to say a family, but consider your projects a family, right? If your projects are a family or the things that you're responsible for, consider those things your family. Or you could just, you know, your family in general right whether you're male or female right the reason why i said male or female is because it's you embodying that masculine energy whether you're male or female by you mass while you embodying that masculine energy 
this is you governing the boat, right? But first, submerge yourself in your passion. Work hard at it. Take a child vote, I mean, child approach. Unlearn what you think you know and relearn everything if you need to. If you ever, you know, you got the seven of wands energy out here. Seven of wands energy here gives me the vibe of like being overwhelmed or a lot of having to defend yourself. All of that is over. All that defensive energy shit is over, right? That came to an end possibly Sunday between the hours of 6 and 7 a.m., 1, 1 and 2 p.m., or 8 and 9 p.m. Okay. So with this Seven of Wands here, that has 777, seven, seven, right? That has to do with luck, right? Spiritual awakening. But this is in a death slot. And we always talk about this death slot here. This is what you're transforming from or what's coming to an end. You know what I mean? You could be transitioning from relying on luck to taking control of your life or situation and working hard to make things happen. That is not a mistake. That's not, there's no mistake in that. It's time for, you know, there's a time for luck, but right now, let luck complement your hard work. Work hard and allow luck to cover what you, where you come up short. You see what I'm saying? It works best this way. It, comes to uh what is that is that uh who is that um that samurai the lone samurai dokodo in the book dokodo the art or spirit of being alone by musashi miyamoto right he wrote in there we worship god worship god or worship your deity but don't rely on them this is the same concept Work hard for what you want and pay homage to supernatural energies, right? When they really feel, when they see how hard you work or when they really want this for you or whatever, they'll make up the difference for where you fall short. It's best, this is the pinnacle of excellence because you are not overexerting your health. When you, let's say we resort to the 48 laws of power, what if that happens in the spiritual realm too? Because with the 48 laws of power, it was saying that it's best for people to say, how have you been? I haven't seen you in so long. I'm so happy to see you. Where have you been? Versus, shoot, here this person comes again. You see what I'm saying? When... You have, when you are in that energy and you are, you know, away or whatever, like you are, and you allow your absence to speak for you, your absence from something to speak for you, that right there will make people more willing to help you when you are absent. So now's the time to focus on what you want. You know, if you have to disappear, you have to remove yourself from certain shit, do that. But focus on your passion, what you love to do. Because as you develop your passion, this could be something that you do for the rest of your life. And it'll be like you don't work at all. You see what I'm saying? But don't rely on luck to carry you through. You see what I'm saying? This is not the time to rely on luck. We got the temperance card in reverse here. So yeah, this definitely has the energy of, um, generally I wanna say it's just like unbalanced and all of that, but this has to do with you being caught between two realms here. You want one thing, but you need something else. You see something, but you know something else. You understand one thing, but something else is understood. Or you're trying to understand something else. This all has the energy of two energies trying to occupy one space. Whatever this is, it's time for you to back up and for you to uh, re-solidify your focus. There's two 
important and it could be two very important concepts or two very important people places things events trying to occupy the same space right this give me the vibe of how satanist and the devil works because essentially what happens is the way that the devil fight the way that god tests you Okay, because it's all in my opinion, they both work almost on the same spectrum. The way God tests you and the way that the devil attacks you is the same. Because if you are consistent in your decision making, if God tests you according to how the devil would tempt you, when you get tempted, you should still be on track. You see what I'm saying? So basically, this is how it works. Temperance energy here in reverse gives me the vibe of two things here. Something you love and something you hate. It looks like a situation is coming up or you could be caught in a situation that combines what you love and what you hate. It's almost like if, let's say, you have a family member that you don't like, right? But they may be the only one that has a connection that can help you advance your career you know what i'm saying so you may love to advance but you would hate to have this person in the middle because it would make you feel like you have to go through this middleman in order to advance yourself in your career you see what i'm saying it's similar to that but that's not just the only thing that it applies to it applies to many things that's just like in the Bible, when it came up, it was the same thing that God had to go through when with the devil with Adam and Eve. Okay. Satan tempted Adam and Eve with the apple or the fruit of wisdom, you know what I'm saying? From the tree of life or whatever, right? When they ate that, it combined sin with the perfect creation that God made it's almost kind of like somebody took like a like a coffee and splattered it on your masterpiece what do you do do you throw the whole masterpiece out no God didn't God dismissed it you know what I'm saying and over time God learned the answer to this paradox. He had to, you know, he learned to forgive. He learned to be merciful to us. You know what I'm saying? Or he decided to be merciful. He created something new that probably did not exist until that point. I don't think forgiveness existed at that point because if forgiveness existed, then maybe Lucifer or Satan would have been able to get that forgiveness you know what I'm saying? And not have been condemned. So it's the same concept here. This here is what's fueling. You have to see it in a different light. It's fueling your passion. Because now you have to be creative and create a way out of this situation that's combining what you love and what you hate. But at the end of the day, you got to stay true to what you believe. Okay? It, a lot of times we get though that situation where we're, you know, Satan will combine what we love and hate together to see what we choose and how we do things, and then add all this pressure onto you. And you're pressured. You're under pressure. You know, you're willing. You're more likely to make decisions you wouldn't ordinarily do, right? So essentially, what happens is you have to take a step back. You have to know that you have time. Even if time is of the essence, you have to create time. You have to be creative. That's what happened here. That's what's going on here. In order to, uh, whatever this disruption is, you have to be creative to conquer that. You're going to have to be creative. You're going to have to tap into that creative energy that you have. Because essentially, you have the world card in reverse here. With the world card in reverse here, this is the energy of basically Saturn releasing a restriction on something. Saturn restricting one thing and releasing the restrictions on something else. Saturn could be re restricting or Kronos energy basically of time, right? 
time is ending something in your life. But it's also starting something new. Maybe you like the way things are going and you're afraid to shift. You're afraid to go through that transformation. You're afraid of the unknown. You're afraid of this death. You're afraid of, or what, it, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be like fear, but I'm just going to be upfront with you when faced with the unknown. A lot of people have a phobia of the unknown. That's why when we have like Congress elections and things of that nature, or when things are going on in the world, especially, you know, and I'm not gonna, you know, demonize a whole lot of people, but if you pay attention to a lot of like, um, the car, you know, like people who write for like, let's say Democrats and Republicans and stuff like that, when they are in fear of something happening, they always put a contingency on there. This could happen. North Korea could have this. Or they, North Korea fired a missile today and they could hit United States. Now everybody's in a panic and people are going to want to make a, a move. But in reality, that's not a certainty. You see what I'm saying? It's not a certainty. It's not an absolute truth. It's not a truth. It's a contingency. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, this is the vibe that I'm getting here is that um, there's something that needs to come to an end. There's something that needs to be let go. There's something that needs to be released, whether it's you or someone else or whatever it may be. But this right here, somebody is trying to use an old cycle to pretty much stifle your creativity is what I'm seeing here you know what I'm seeing this could be the energy of combining what you love and hate you may love the way things is going right now but you may hate what it what's connected to it you see what I'm saying so you may have to come up with something creative where you have to cre recreate your whole cycle with an exclusion of certain things like if you like this cycle let this cycle go start over brand new create the cycle you want and omit what you don't want and continue to go forward from there or you find out what cycle is best for you at this time that's why i open myself up to the universe and allow the cosmos to unfold because the cosmos is like a cosmic flower it's a flower that i love you know and um the Tao Te Ching it was saying like if you love something don't disturb it and it'll continue to grace you with its beauty and maybe that's why God doesn't intervene like he does in this work in this world because our lives may be like a flower for him or like an artwork for him the more he intervenes with it the more he feels he taints it so thus he gave us laws of free will you see Next, you have the Empress here, right? Yes. With this energy here, everything that you touch will grow. Everything that you come in contact with, the progenesis of things will start to grow. Cells, reprodu cells reproducing, things healing. Um, your energy here is going to be medicinal. It's going to be medicinal to the things that you are involved with, especially with your projects, right? It's going to be medicinal to the souls that get to witness you at work in your projects. Not only that, your energy is going to be perennial in their soul and to the earth. It's going to be perennial, which means that every time they think some people think about creativity or they think about trying to create an artwork. Like me, you might be an artist. Other people might be an artist. The people around you might be artists and you might create this one thing. And it may trigger so much innovation, I mean, so much motivation and inspiration to a whole bunch of people around you. That's exactly what this Empress energy is. A lot of people think that the Empress energy is the boss bitch who runs everything, calls all the shots, in charge, but that's not it. The Empress 
is Gaia, is the earth, is yielding to the pressure of people's souls you know what i mean and they have this way of growing things in people the empress is like water which is why i might have to change this card to water the empress is water she is life sustaining she is the embiotic fluid that's in the womb you see what i'm saying she is that she's the water that you drink when you have an obstacle she's the pressure behind the water you see what I'm saying? Cutting through obstacles. She is the reason why the water rises and falls. You see what I'm saying? So yes, you're transcending where you used to be and entering into this whole entirely new energy, right? It's a whole new energy, unexplored by you. And this will allow you to be the creator that you want to be. It's a whole new energy. You picked your path. You you went through this, you went through a whole bunch of you went through whatever you went through, right? Especially with all the spiritual warfare that was going on. You went through all this warfare, this all of this. And now you're in this energy where the things that you that you touch the things that you create the things that you're involved with the things you speak over the things that you love the things that you feel the things that you know everything about you just nourishes the environment around you you could take something ugly and make it beautiful you could take something beautiful and enhance it you're gonna be elevating people through their careers you're going to be elevating places you're going to be you know if you're in a business or if you work for yourself you're going to grow that energy you're going to grow that business if you are working for someone they're going to realize how valuable you are if you are in a relationship this person may notice your growth and they may start trying to adapt to the energy that you have you see what I'm saying? Your heart space being the empress here, if you went through anything that detrimented your heart or hurt your heart or injured your heart, you're back. You got the energy of the bull out here, okay? The bull is, is the energy of like being aggressive, okay? Being protective, essentially is what it is because a lot of bulls are territorial just because you're the empress doesn't mean that you just allow people to walk over you no i'm sure aphrodite had to go to war sometime i'm sure there are plants and flowers that are very beautiful but they carry a scent or protect some kind of protection you know what i'm saying that keeps predators at bay so yeah I'm definitely seeing um, expansion here. I'm seeing expansion. The number eight, that gives me the vibe of the energy of Jupiter here because it's affiliated, because of what's it's affiliated with. That's that Jupiterian energy, Leo and Jupiter energy out here. You got um, mental clarity, uh, vocal. Yeah, you got uh, throat chakra being opened up. You learning how to express yourself, understanding and being understood through your artwork. You have a mental clarity here where you can perceive the thing that you want to create and create it with no problem. You have the courage. You have the the uh, solar plexus energy here, the willpower to create it and be proud about what you create. You have the um, heart to nourish not just what you create but the things around it you also have the root chakra connected to it where you feel safe in your creative energy here and at the end of the day look at this the emperor card this is crazy because you're in your heart space you are the empress you are the builder i mean you know you are creating you're receptive to the energies around you you know how to manipulate you know how to take the energies around you and focus them into growing things right expansion but you are also the energy of the emperor here which is mars energy you are the leader 
you are the um you know head person in charge the ceo the founder you are the head the ram so you are the ram and the bull at the same time you are your divine masculine and feminine energies are balancing itself out maybe you may have been disrupted in some way shape or form because this could be what's going on here there could be a, a conflict here but you're going to use your feminine energy to grow things, to expand things, to bring life and love into some, into the things that you do creatively and possibly even other people. That's Isis. It's going to be medicinal. This is you healing people through uh, your art, whatever you excel at, your art, you're healing people through your art. You making people want to heal themselves through their heart, through your art, right? But also, you're carrying this fierce warrior energy here. 61 has to do with um, limitations. You're enforcing your boundaries here with the first house, right? Hemael generally is uh, connected with evil or darkness or whatever. But generally, it's the, it's the dark side of action, okay? There's action and then there's the dark side of action. The dark side of action that we, that generally escapes our eyes is having to enforce your boundaries. It's having to stand up to people. It's telling people the things that they don't want to hear, but it's necessary. It's you speaking your truth. It's you, you know, living in this fiery energy unapologetically. It's you knowing what you want and going for it, regardless how other people around you feel. You know what I'm saying? In the world, you're showing up as the emperor, but in your heart, you're showing up as the empress. You got to be a divine being. So if you are a divine being, it's time to create. It's definitely time to create. All right, that's all I got. I got carried away with my message today. All right. You guys, uh, take it easy. Hopefully, I inspired you guys to get back to your creativity. Whatever your... I want to ask you guys something. What happened to the New Year's resolution that you made this year? Did you still stick with that or did you break that? Because the year is not over, even though it's in November it might be time to let's say go back to the gym it might be time to start that diet it might be time to clean out that whatever it might be time to do whatever you said that you thought of doing you know for the new year's resolution this is a chance to try it again for the next year by getting the head start on there what was your new year's resolution and did you accomplish it or not you know so yeah you're in that divine uh, masculine and feminine energy here. And you're balancing out and you're using it to the best, I mean, to its fullest extent, you know. So, um, yeah, that's all I got. Um, I love y'all all. If this resonated, um, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe. I do not do personals. If anybody contact you and say, hey, uh, I had a dream about it, it's not me, okay? I don't reach out to people. I don't ask, you know, I don't email people. I don't even really contact anybody on here at all outside of doing my readings. And for those of you who, um, you know, I thought about doing personal readings, but I don't want that energy on me. I'm just going to be real. And plus, I've, I think there are more talented um, readers out here that you should go to and check out. Okay. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have the time. I really don't have too much time to, you know, do that but there are a lot of great readers out here a lot of them a lot of ones that i respect too love and respect you know that's why you know i do what i do um that's all i got um i love my people i love y'all uh take it easy um like i say you know take what resonate um even if this wasn't you know the reading for you still take what you can from it and try to um hopefully it, you know take what you can from it and use it if you know you need to or whatever all right love y'all peace